My name is Chad Brown. I'm a project engineer for the Washington State Department of Transportation. This project is a project to repair the trestle on westbound US-2. Well, the westbound US-2 trestle is aging and the concrete girders are in need of repair. So right now we're looking at a girder that has significant repair needed. You can see the rebar has been exposed. These are the type of repairs that we'll be doing. We'll go in and chip out the concrete around the rebar that you can see there that's all rusted. We will treat the rebar to try to get rid of the rust. Then we'll apply a material to the rebar to prevent further rusting. After that, we will apply a carbon fiber mesh and then cover it with mortar to seal the whole thing up. The carbon fiber mesh adds an additional strength to the repaired area, uh, acts kind of similar to the rebar and, and adding strength to the girder in that repaired area. We have done this type of repair in the past on US-2 trestle. Uh, this type of repair was done about two, years, two, three years ago. Last time we repaired the major portion of westbound to 50th. Okay, under the girder, if you look at, you see a kind of a brownish color. That is where the repair happened. The paint is just cosmetic for showing that the repair is done and it looks, looks nice. Uh, during construction, most of the work will occur underneath the bridge, so it will not be visible to the public. We do have 65 nighttime closures to do some of the repair work on the westbound trestle. Uh, when the westbound trestle is closed, we'll be asking drivers to use the detour route that goes north or south on Highway 9 and connects up with I-5. During the construction season, we would appreciate it if drivers would plan ahead so they are aware of the closures, the nights that we have closures, and that they can plan accordingly so that they are not impacted by the detour. 